Hi, curious about picking the safest wallet type? Let's quickly uncover the differences between custodial and non-custodial wallets to see which suits you best. Crypto wallets come in two flavors, custodial and non-custodial. Custodial wallets are managed by third parties who handle your funds on your behalf. They're secure, user-friendly, and have solid customer support. Ideal for crypto newbies or those who prefer simplicity. For example, you can use custodial wallets like Telegram's wallet, which is easy to use. It's also worth noting that wallets on exchanges, such as those provided by Binance or Coinbase, are typically custodial, where the exchange manages your funds. But there's a twist. They're centralized, so all your crypto is in one place, which you fully trust to the platform. This setup can sometimes lead to freezes, restrictions, or privacy issues, since you don't own your private keys and your transactions are tied to your identity. Switching gears to non-custodial wallets, you're in total control. Not your keys, not your coins. You manage your keys and use a secret phrase to access your funds on any compatible platform. Examples of non-custodial wallets include Tonkeeper, Tonspace, Myton Wallet, and more. With these wallets, you get unmatched flexibility and control. Non-custodial wallets offer complete autonomy, enhanced privacy, and are censorship resistant. No one can freeze or block your funds, and you're safe from platform risks like hacks or shutdowns. However, they do require more responsibility. Lose your keys and you lose your crypto. They have a learning curve about blockchain technology and support is limited. Mistakes can be costly and vigilance is key to avoid scams or losses. Want to secure your non-custodial wallet? Regularly back up your wallet, always double check addresses before transactions and keep your software updated. Store your recovery seed securely. Think locked safes and no digital copies and maintain multiple backups in different secure spots. And if you're holding a significant amount of crypto for the best security, consider using hardware wallets like SafePal or Ledger. So, feeling more clued in? In your crypto journey, you'll encounter both types of wallets, and we're thrilled to have helped you learn more about each. If this cleared things up for you, why not share this video with a friend to keep them in the loop too? Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. See you in the next one.